guys. Okay. Today, I realized that my videos usually <laughs> when I talk about something that's on my mind. And I love doing that, don't get me wrong. But, um, that's on the screen. Um, but I wanted to do, like, a video where I can have a topic for each video. And I wanted today's topic to be about goals. Not, like, soccer goals or something like that. Um, I set goals every week for myself. And that's just how I am because it, it, it makes me feel good that I know that I can make a goal for myself. And I have to achieve it. You can't stop until you achieve it. And you want to make goals that you know you can achieve. You don't want to make a goal that you know that you want to achieve, but you know that you physically and mentally can't. And that's something that's not good. You don't want to make have a goal or put a goal in your mind and be like, I'm going to achieve this goal. That is what you set your mind to. If it could be like, I'm going to try to score two soccer goals in the game, that could be something you want to set your mind to. Or I want to wake up at 5.30 a.m. and start exercising in the morning. Or something like that. Or I want to get a 80 or higher on this test. That is something that you can do. But saying that I can like um, run a mile in two and a half minutes is something that you can't do. You don't want to set, if you set goals too high, you're going to get frustrated with yourself. Because you know you're not going to be able to achieve it. And my goal for this week is because I'm in school on a regular basis, Monday through Friday. And my goal was to go up to my teacher and I wanted to tell her what was on my mind. And... It was like a goal that like I always wanted to like just be able to be open with someone. I was like, I'm gonna be open with someone. Just tell my thoughts. And I went up to one of my teachers and I was like, Hey, can I tell you about something? And I opened up to her and she truly appreciated it. So that was something that was like oh, it was a weird goal because usually my goals are like I wanna get like an easier higher test, I want to score more soccer goals, I want to like whatever, like wake up early and run around the block before school or something like that. That was goals I used to make. And I always exercise early in the morning because it helps me like get myself rejuvenated. But if you set goals too high, you're going to get frustrated with yourself because you know that you're not going to be able to achieve it. And then you're going to not be able to, like, live with yourself. You want to make goals that you can achieve. You have to say in your mind, before you make the goal, can I achieve it? And if that answer is a no, you want to bring it down or not? Do you want to say, okay, I'm going to work my way up to that goal? You want to take small steps because you don't want to go to a goal that's so high that you that's the first goal you're going to start out with. So you want to make steps. Cut it down and make steps. Like if you want to say, I want to be the president of the United States, you have to take some steps down. Like if you're in school, go run for the presidential election. You know, watch some de debates on TV. Or you might want to interview someone and get their thoughts on the president of the United States and what they're doing and you know you can just like focus on what you want to be doing and getting little tips from people and watching debates on tv like about politics like what is this what is like barack obama the president right as of right now what is barack obama doing wrong what is he doing right is he helping america be the best country it can be and so you can't just make a goal saying i want to be the president of the united states because that's going to take a while especially with your age I mean, if you're like 15, you can't have the presidency when you're 15. So you don't want to make goals too high. You want to, if you want to make that goal that's high, high in the sky that you know you can't achieve for a while, or you know that you're mentally and physically impossible, you want to cut down the steps. Because if you don't cut, if you don't make steps, then you're going to be able like, oh my gosh, I can't achieve it. What am I going to do? I can't, I can't do school. I'm so upset with myself. 
and you won't know how to live with yourself because you want to achieve it but you don't know how to and that's some that's some people's problem sometimes so i think that you should really understand the goals that you can do you have to like write down the list and be like the goals that i know that i can achieve and you want to make sure that list is not too big where you're going to be like all crammed up with um with goals so you're like okay i'm this one wait i don't want to do that one let's get this one like you have to have like an order like let's say if you want to make a list have an order be like okay i want to exercise in the morning i want to do good on my next test I, um, want to score more goals in my basketball game. Uh, make some more best in my basketball game. I want to score some goals in my lacrosse game. So you want to make steps that you know you can. Like, setting goals too high is not good. Because it'll get you all, like, fired up with yourself if you can't achieve it. I mean, if you can achieve it, and it's a goal that's really high, great. But for most people, it's hard. Like, for, my, for myself, I know if I make a, a goal too high it's it doesn't work out maybe for some people it will be different but usually you don't want to make a goal too high because you'll know that you'll be like after each day when you're not getting when you're not getting the fulfillment of the goal then you're gonna be like oh it's been like 20 days i still don't achieve this goal it's because the goal is too high and and sometimes people are so like i can do this i'm not gonna give up and they keep the goal where it is and they don't make any adjustments or make any steps or be like okay i'm gonna try to do this differently or this or this like keep doing the same routine some people are just like okay i realize i can't do this i made a mistake i'm gonna start making some steps that's the key thing make steps so you know what step comes next so you'll know like okay in a week, I'll do this. In a week, a week, a week, and I'll eventually get you up to that goal. But you have to be able to keep up with it. You have to keep track. Be like, all right, I have this in a week. If you go over that, then it's not like even though it's your own personal goal, you want to make sure you can achieve it. So when it turns into another, a, a bigger thing than a goal, you know that I did this when I, uh, I did this before. I did. I made goals. So you have to be able to keep on target, on track. Like if you say, I want to watch some debates on TV for a week instead of doing this. Make sure that happens because if you can't even do a small step, you're not gonna be able to do what you really want to do. You're not gonna get to that high goal. And from my opinion, do not make high goals because it will, I would say 90%, it won't turn out the way you want to. And when you do a little small goal, if you do a lot of small goals, maybe it'll boost you up to a higher goal. But you, when when you achieve a, a, uh, like a goal, you feel so good. You're like, yes, I achieved it. I can do it. And then you'll make that goal into a higher goal. You know, so let's say you, exit, you woke up early at 5.30 every single day for two weeks. And you did it. You didn't miss a day and you went to the gym and you worked out for 30 minutes. And now maybe you say, oh, 5.30, maybe I can do 4.30, maybe I can exercise for 45 minutes. So you'll, you'll keep going up until you'll maybe have the body that you want. Maybe you'll be like a ripped chick or something like that. So you want to make sure that your goals are not too high. You want to make low ones first so you know that, hey, I can achieve a small goal. Maybe I'll, I'll make this goal a little bit difficult for myself. So that could be a way of making your goal higher. Now I hope for any of you that make goals higher and that could be a problem of yours, make sure that you understand if you can actually, what the type of goal that it is common, if this is your problem, what goal you're trying to do, and I will definitely talk about it in the video, well, about the goal that you're trying to achieve when it's too high, add some steps. Or achieve small goals first. Like if, whatever goal it is and it's the high version, Make that goal a small version and keep adding onto it until it gets where you want to. Because I guarantee you, it will help you. Because I make goals every day. And my goal for this Monday to next Monday, I want to just, like, talk to someone. Like, make friends in school. No matter who they are, or they can be like, Bob. like I want to, like, someone that, like, I lost, like, my friend. I lost a couple friends throughout my school years I want to be able to talk to them again reunite 
So that's going to be my next goal. So don't set goals too high. Make steps. And then make them smaller until you get up to your goal. And I hope this helps you. And I hope you get to the goal that you want to. Bye guys. I love you.